Oh, welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing well. Massive episode today. Trip to the Thrift Thursday morning. It's my favorite day of the week. And today is a very special episode. We've got a guest appearance, Bron from Matic to Mindful. How are you, Bron? Let's see the episode. I can't wait to get stuck in it. We've got a heap of op shops to get into. Bron has already been thrifting, though. She's been able to find me this really, really cool Dennis Rodman tea. How sick is that? Thanks very much, Bron. I think that was about three bucks yeah. in the thrift yesterday. So fingers crossed we can find that same sort of stuff today. Also, too, a bit of an update on the van. Um, look, I've, I've got a payout, which is fortunate. I've got some money coming in. There will be a van purchase soon. But today, we're going to have to use your car, Bron, if that's cool with you. We'll be in the Kia today. So the Kia's just parked out the front. We're about to get into it. The first op shop is coming right up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you're here for the first time. Let's get into it. First off shop of the day, all wrapped up. And to be honest, Bron, you're winning. Yeah. You're off to a great start. You've done very, very well, and I still need to find a few things. But I'll kick us off with the first item. I've been able to find these Columbia boots. Now, I think they're pretty cool. I didn't even check the size of these. I think they're women's. So a women's US seven and a half. Now, I think these are gonna be about 60, maybe 70 bucks. And I've paid $20 for them. Columbia is just such a great brand. Always mm -hmm. grab it when you see it. I know you've grabbed some Columbia stuff. Yep. Jacket. In the car, yeah. Um, and then I've also got a, just a really plain essential. Um, this is just a Puma sweater. It's a men's, it's a size large. Um, look, it's it's nice, it's just eight bucks, but yeah. I think that'll go on to maybe go for about 30 bucks. I'm buying it more for the time of year. Yeah. We're obviously uh, over here in Australia, we're in, coming into the winter, so I thought I'd nick that. And I've also picked up this RM Williams, guys. This is a ladies, uh, size 10. Um, I asked Bron about the price, it was $12, and she said, look, it's a great brand, yeah, just go this for it. style with the collar like that, these are always like the staple RM Williams, like girl style. Yeah. So apparently this is going to sell well. Yeah. So RM Williams, I've sold a lot of it in the men's, as you guys would know, watching these trips to the thrift episodes, but size 10, women's, we'll, we'll give that a go, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to sell a bit more women's clothing. Mm. What have you got? Okay. I, this is like my favorite denim brand to sell, especially this style of short. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. They're like the cutoffs. And I only paid $4. Pretty and good. for me, it's like a staple, like $30, $35 plus post always. I yeah, sell okay. them for. Yeah. And then the next is this blanket, crocheted Nana lap blanket is how I would title it. I paid eight. And these can go anywhere like 40, 60, depending on you know the pattern. But the ones that are black with the colored squares are the most sought after. Yeah, okay. So what so, do you think you get for this? 40 to 60. 40 to 60 bucks. You used to get a lot more, but yeah, hopefully with being winter. I would never look for something like this. This is why you come out with other resellers, because yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't think a blanket has any money in it. There you go. And then we have, this is like a quilted This one's huge. Coat, ladies Tahari. That's nice. Now I paid 10, and when I looked at comps, they were sort of like that 50 to 70. I actually think I'll get the higher end, because this is pretty much like new, and it's, it's quite new. thick. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's size large, so it's a good size. I reckon this is so far best of the day, no doubt. Yeah, that's my favourite so far. Uh, what size was it? Large. Oh, large. I could zap. Yeah, that's it. No doubt. See, I told you, she's winning. She's absolutely <laughs> dominated round one. Uh, but we've got round two, three, and four, and that's where I reckon I'm going to kick in the gear. Let's get into the second one.
right, guys, off shot run number two, all wrapped up, and you'll kick it off, Bron. What yeah. have you got? So I've got two Katmandu items, actually. So this one is a oh no, full zip. Size eight. Size eight, and this was $12. Yeah, nice. And then I have another one, but this one's a size 14. This was $12 as well. Yeah. And that one is a full, uh, quarter zip. Kamandu just sells, Please. yeah. yeah. Kamandu sells well, and we'll probably get 40 to 50, we reckon, yeah. off a $12. So, probably 20 bucks profit when you take out fees and everything. I just think coming into winter again, yeah. you want to be looking for that kind of thing. So, um, to make 20 bucks on a couple of quick sweaters, not too bad. Um, now, I've done okay. Um, Bron actually found this for me. She knows I'm in my jersey. She's watched the trip to the thrifts. And uh, for seven bucks, this is actually a genuine Manchester United jersey. Mm -hmm. So, it's a size large, and it is Nike as well. So, I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to get top dollar. I'm thinking 50 bucks. Ooh. Believe it or not, these things actually go. Um, I've also found um, this one as well. Now, I've bought this. I was umming and ahhing on a Brisbane Heat Big Bash jersey. This is a cricket jersey. Yeah, okay. Um, now, Big Bash, it's not the cricket season's not on, obviously, but I sold a Brisbane Heat jersey just last week for 35 bucks. So, mm. this one's cost me $5. And if I can get 35 again, which I'm probably going to go $39.99 free post, that could put me about 20 bucks in the, in the profit. So based on past sales, I've gone ahead with that. And guys, you know I love my shoes. It's not a trip to the thrift without a stack of shoes. I've been able to find these Adidas NMDs. Look, to be fair, there's a bit of color um, issues there, a bit of a discoloration on it, but I still reckon I'll be able to put some sugar soap into it and get it nice and white and Magic probably go eraser. on. Maybe a Magic Eraser, yeah. I should be doing that as well. Uh, but these will actually scrub up well. They are generally a black shoe, so that's probably going to help me. Um, they're a men's, and they are a US size 9. So, guys, these go really hard. And five bucks, I've done pretty well there. The last one as well that I've got for you is the Asics Gel Nimbus 18s, guys. Now, these ranked number two in my recent video of how to sell shoes. If you haven't watched it, go and check it out. I put a lot of time into effort into the statistics. But for $5, these go on to sell for 50 bucks pretty comfortably. So These are nice. They are. Like they are nice. From a girl's perspective, yeah. this is a very pretty shoe. I like this. Hundred percent. I might sell them to you. <laughs> Hundred bucks. <laughs> Uh, so that was it. That was everything. I think I won that round, to be honest. Yeah. I know your sweaters are good, Catman Do, don't get me wrong. But I reckon we've won all. Yeah. I reckon we've won all. The shoes I've done okay. A couple of jerseys, a couple of tops. Uh, let's keep moving. Off shot number three. Yeah. Let's do it. guys op shot number three we're done and to be honest we probably don't have a holy grail moment here but we will in op shot number four i've got no doubt about it i have found, found myself a sean mendez jumper and this was from what tour was it what tour does it say it just says the tour um look i'm not a sean mendez man myself i oh, know yeah. you are uh, you were pretty I happy when you saw sean me find mendez. this this was only eight dollars and it's a size small mm. uh, and i really do think it's going to go pretty quickly i'm um, not sure what i'm going to price this one for yet but it's obviously got a large print on the back i'm going to put this one on the website jump on the website if you want it it's a size small if this was my size i would be snuffling that you'd be grabbing it i'd be grabbing that i love it uh, so yeah size small that was a good one now i am denied you might have seen the edit don't know how i'm going to cut it up but there were two uh mm. jumpers or um I don't know, long sleeve jackets. jackets. Um, one was Zoo York, double XL, which I have ended up taking. The other one was Xanarobe. Now, I'm really against Xanarobe when I heard from one of you viewers out there, can't remember who it was, but somebody said that it was actually now stocked in Target. Oh. So I'm still buying Xanarobe, but I'm always a little bit against it. That one was $15. I've said no purely because of the price. I have said yes to this one though, because to be honest, it is it actually, I think it's a really nice jacket. Mm, and it's $15. It's, it's Zoo York as well, double XL. I reckon this one's going to probably go for about. 50 bucks. I think I need it mm. to go for 50 bucks. Um, Once you take the pilling off with a little buzz, 
$50. I don't have one of those and I probably need to get my hands on one of those, but um, <laughs> Bron's telling me all the things that I don't have that I need to have. So it's very nice having you along for the ride today. Um, yeah, so we'll see how we go with that. I'm going to push for about 50 bucks, and if I get it, uh, I'll be laughing. Uh, the old footy club that I used to work for, guys, the Carlton Football Club, there it is there. I've been able to find a polo shirt. That one goes for about 35 pretty comfortably, so thanks very much, $4. And then I've also found this one as well, Parramatta Eels. Guys, if you find these rugby league shorts, they do actually sell. Um, I normally get about $25 to $30 for them. I pay just $4, guys, so that one's in my pocket as well. Um, that's me done. A couple of quick items. I only have two, but I got Billabong. Is that? It's like a shawl. It's like a knit for winter. And it's got a nice like Aztec print. Very yeah, you know, cool. bohemian boho vibes. Yeah, so I never picked that one up. That was $8. And then this is US Polo Assassin. It's like a Ralph Lauren men's quarter zip like knit jumper. What size? Mm, medium. Medium on that one. And this was 10 Yeah. But yeah. It was Buying just a lot nice of winter quality. clothing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of winter clothing. Hopefully it moves over the time of the year that we're in. Um, fingers are crossed, but 10 bucks there, that's not bad. Um, like I said, guys, we're trying to find that holy grail item. We need, we need that big finish. And we're in competition today. Just we're, get that. Yeah, we are, yeah. In, we are in a bit of comp today. I, I do like this little battle that we're having. Um, what do you reckon out of that? Do you reckon. I think you've really yeah, scored I've, with that Shawn Mendes. Honestly, Shawn Mendes. that really grabbed my attention. Shawn Mendes was a, mm. was a good was a good grab. Only eight dollars too. Um, the last one of the day. Let's go really hard. I really do think that we can end it on a bang. I don't care who wins this battle today, I but we win. just yeah well. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I need a bit more drive. Maybe I need to say yeah, I want to Maybe win. you need a coffee. We're going to dive into the last yeah. shot. We're going to find some good stuff. Let's get into it. See, the benefit of today, I get to edit. I get to edit today. So anything that Bron doesn't want included, you have no say in it. Uh, this is on to camera too. Oh, no. I don't <laughs> want to take that. You have to do that with my singing. I get too, like, passionate. That's fine. Uh, Option number four. Let's do it. Taking Matt to my honey hole. Here we go. Look, I've never actually been to this location. And here we are. Mm, this is a little diamond in the rough. This yeah. One. The it's, secret sauce. It's totally tucked in there. No way. There it is. Have a look at that. There hidden is, away. It's a hidden gem. There is a bit. There it is. Oh my goodness. This is a little, this is a little secret hole. Look at that. <laughs> My goodness. I think this could be the day. This could be the day we find something big to end to end the vid. Alright guys, off shop number four, we are done and we didn't find the Holy Grail to be honest, did we? We Not tried really. we tried pretty hard. It's a little look, it's the first time I've ever been in this op shop. Bronze found this really cool little hole in the wall. Um, and normally you've done okay, but yeah. today unfortunately we didn't. But that is okay. It um it does happen. I found these, uh, some Brooks running shoes. Now, Brooks is a good brand of running shoes. I've paid five bucks in the end, if you can see the little tag down there. This is a women's seven and a half. A stock standard $50 sale for me on these ones. They go really well. Um, the actual make of them is Cascadia. Um, so Cascadia, Brooks, running shoes, not too bad there. And then a bit of erotica as well, Bron. Uh, <laughs> we've been able to find these Sylvia Days. These are sort of your Fifty Shades of Grey style books. She's popular. Now, Bron is a bit of a, um, a book expert. Done a lot of books in your time on a reselling front. And... Um, You've, you've sort of worded me out here on what I've actually got my hands on because there's actually two different series yeah. in here. So one of the big key things is when you're doing your bundles, don't just think that you can bundle the same author for six different books there. I actually need to split these up with what I've got here in a four and a two. 
Um, so one I'll do for maybe 25 bucks and the other I'll do for about 35 bucks. Mm. So I might make $70, including free postage for two different orders overall, but I've only paid a dollar each. Yeah, so that's good for her. When you know what you've got, mm. which we do here, and you know how to split them correctly, per what you know, what you've actually got your hands on, that was a good little get as well there. So um, not too bad, just the shoes and the books for myself. Yes, and I just have a sports bra. Now this brand, I believe, is like a Swedish brand. And in like the yoga realm, it's very expensive to buy new. So I was very happy with that for $3. $3. That'll sell well. Yeah. Um, so that's everything, guys. We're done. We've been out all day. It's actually almost two o'clock, and yeah. I'm normally home by twelve. So we did stop for a bit of lunch. We went to Sushi Train. That was good. That was First good. time for Bron. Mm -hmm. um, so we're done now. Bron has an awesome YouTube channel, and you're very close to a thousand subs. Very close. She's at about nine hundred, guys. Mm -hmm. And really, what I would love out of this video today, if you're still here watching now. All of the details for Bronze channel is in the description below. Go and click the button. It takes two seconds. Have a look at her little intro video and then yeah. hit the subscribe button. She's just done a great little intro vid, haven't you? Yeah, a little channel trailer. Yeah, but um, now you've been on YouTube channel. Uh, you've been on YouTube for a little bit now and mm -hmm. pumping out a stack of videos. So Manic to Mindful. Manic to Mindful, correct, is where you find her. I've got all the details that you need down below in the description. But yeah, go and give her a sub. It's been a lot of fun today. You don't always find the best items when you're out no. in the thrift. We always say this. But it was good fun to just grab a mate and go thrifting. Makes it fun when you don't find lots. Now, I do have the website as well, guys. I haven't touched on that yet. So I do uh, appreciate all of the support with that. Um, I will drop this uh, in the description below for you guys to check out. Anything thrifted uh, in today's video, clothing more specifically, will be thrown up onto that website. It's 20% less than what it is uh, on my eBay store. So it's a benefit to you guys. If you do want anything from today's video, to go and check that website and uh, yeah, grab it. And I do appreciate the support. Especially the Shawn Mendes. <laughs> the Shawn Mendes will be on there quick. And I reckon Bronze is going to jump on the minute she sees it and grabs it. Uh, or potentially even just... Shouldn't have had sushi train. I might to fit into it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's a good little jumper. Probably the best of the day. Yeah, I, I love it. Found. Was a relatively quiet day. Mm. Um, thanks, Bron. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you've enjoyed it. Smash the like button for me. It's a great way to pump it up in the algorithm and uh, we'll catch you in the next vid, guys. Thanks Bye. for tuning in. See you later.